Hi guys, welcome back. This evening we're gonna do something a little bit different. Uh, got a diagram from Keith, and it's for a body cart. I don't know if you can see that. I'll bring it closer here in a minute. But we got a bunch of wood and some screws and some wheels. So I think today we're just gonna try to get it all assembled, and then uh, we'll start pulling pieces off the Bronco. Hopefully today, but if I don't get around today, next time we'll remove the fenders, grill hood windshield and doors I think the fenders and we'll weld in braces and then if the body cart's done which it should be we'll actually put the Bronco on the cart let's look in here looks like these boards are too long but I think I think it'll be fine we'll see this for a Oh, that's for a 66 Bronco. I'm not sure. It should be the same dimensions, I hope. But uh, this diagram, I believe Keith got it from Jason, from Jason and Joni Builds. So uh, I'm pretty confident that uh, it's going to work if I can make my cuts right and get everything kind of assembled how he has it on the uh, diagram, which the uh, diagram is pretty cool. It's the uh, same type of stuff I use at, for where I work. Uh, it gives the quantities and the measurements and a uh, top view and a side view so so it's pretty pretty easy to read if you just kind of look at it and can uh, visualize what's going on but anyways uh hopefully that'll be done like i said today and then we'll uh start pulling the body off next time It'll be be the goal but let me turn around here and we'll kind of show you what we got and uh show you the diagram a little bit better all right, here's all the wood. Got two two by twelves by tens, I believe. Two ten by twelve here. Two by ten by twelves right here. And then we got four two by ten by eights, which I only had three for my Home Depot to had, so I had to get a two by eight by eight. Hope that'll work. I'm gonna use that kind of on the inside pieces, and then two. Four by eight, or four by four by eight. If that makes sense. Then I got four heavy duty casters and some three and a half inch decking screws. But here's a here's a diagram. If you want to pause it, let me put it down and get maybe a little better light on it. So we're gonna be using uh, those uh, two by eight by eights. I'm probably going to use in the front on the insides just because there's not too much weight up here. Most of the weight's going to be back here. And we'll use the rest like through here, if that makes sense. So uh, I'm going to get everything cut and uh, probably make the box first. And then we'll. Uh, Start measuring, putting pieces in, and seeing how far we get today. I think all in all, this is going to cost, oddly enough, the most expensive part was these casters. They were rated for 350 pounds a piece, so I figure that should be good enough, I hope. Because I heard these bodies aren't too terrible, uh, aren't too heavy when you take the doors and hood and everything that you can off. Some people took the tailgate off. I don't know if I'll go that far or not. But, uh, anyways, uh, enough talking. Let's uh, get this laid out and we'll start to build. And I'll probably just hit fast forward, maybe. I don't know. We'll see.
Okay, we uh, have all the film cross, cross braces cut. Uh, next, we need to cut these 4 by 4 posts. Cut the right links to put in each one of these spots. So, uh, so what we're going to do next, I miscut cut some of these just by hair. So I know some of these are going to probably pull in a little bit. Uh, I think it should be okay. At least I hope so. But as soon as we get these posts on, we can flip it up and uh, put in the the wheels or the casters. Probably, I think I said on the back two uh, body mounts, because up the front there's not much weight once you get all the stuff off of it, which we'll, we'll do. So. Next step, cut these big boys and uh, stab them in here. Alright, this is how it's kind of going to look. I uh, don't want to get these posts mixed up. But this is the front, and that's the back. And each one of these, you need to cut a 45 on the top. Kind of where the uh, body mount spot on the body is, because it'll fit better than square top so I'm gonna try my best to cut each one of these sides at 45 and it'd be like a little uh, pyramid almost at top I think as long as we don't mess with the height any so I probably just knock the corners off and uh, see what that does
<clears throat> All right, we got our tapers cut. This one didn't turn out too good, but uh, figure out how to use a saw a little bit better. Made it easier, and we got our uh, little square ends with those body mounts should fit over snugly. But next thing is to measure where all these need to go now. The fronts here and all the way against the side. This would be easy because it's right at the beginning. So we'll screw this in first, just work our way down. We'll do this one first and we may do the rear one. You come in six inches from the inside of the board to the inside of this. So we put that one and then we'll uh, measure from the backboard to the front of the next board is four foot six and a half inches. And that's where that next board needs to start. And this is six inches again from the inside board to the inside of the post. And then where this one starts is seven foot six and a quarter inches from the back to the back side of this board here. And uh, anyways, that'll be it. Now we just put the boards on there and slap the boards on the other side and that should be that should be it. Uh, I think I got enough screws, maybe. I got a pound of them. It'll be close. Uh, I think I may have some in here that will work if we run out, but I think it's about 51 screws in that box. And we're really close to what we need here, I think. He was only some water getting a lot headed. Uh, as soon as we get back, we'll. Uh, Put this one together front and the back and then work our way back forward.
All right, we got everything screwed together. I think, well, I hope this will work, but uh, I'm gonna lay this on the side and put the casters down towards the end. It's gonna look kind of funny, but uh, I haven't made my mind get a couple more casters for the front. But we'll put a four down at the end. I may go back to Home Depot and get another two casters and uh, I don't know, let's see what happens. I'm gonna flip it on the side and uh, put the casters on it and see what happens. Well, uh, we got the cart made. Rolled around pretty good. Uh, I was wrong on the caster's position. It goes in the back and then right here towards the front, which makes sense. Kind of help balance everything, so everything be in the back. Uh, yeah, that's pretty good. I didn't take a lot to push that down, so I think we're good. Uh, don't know if saw me use a cherry picker, but I was kind of concerned with putting all that weight on that wheel, where I might turn it and uh, say snap it off and bend it where it's not usable. So my right idea is to hook that up and get it up off the ground, and then let it down on a cherry picker, push it down, and push it off, and it seemed to work. So I think next week we're gonna try to pull the body off the frame and uh, get the body on the cart we built uh, I'm looking forward to it I think we can uh, I don't know if y'all uh, know this but I'm putting the Healy up for sale kind of want to get a little hot rod or something if I can out of it and maybe some money to put in the Bronco but uh, if y'all want to be interested in that let me know uh, but besides that it'd be out of the way and we can push the body over where it is and have the frame where the barco sits now. But until that happens, I think what we're gonna do is try to bring the Bronco this way and pull the body off on that side and then put the body where the Bronco is now. And try to push the frame as far over here as we can so my wife can still park her car in here. But you can tell the girls kinda of took over my garage. so. We're going to put those bikes hanging from the rafters up here. Move that uh, grill back where it goes. And this should open up probably just enough for the frame to fit right here. And we'll pull it out and work on it, push it back as uh, time goes on. But uh, anyways, uh, kind of just a construction video, but we got it done. I think it looks pretty good. 
I uh, put a lot more screws in it, I think, than needed to, but, you know, better safe than sorry. Uh, anyways, uh, just want to say thank y'all again for clicking my Amazon affiliate links. Uh, it's down in the description below. Like I said, if y'all click on it and buy something, I get a little percentage of that. Uh, it's one way you can help support the channel and kind of help my Bronco get together quicker. But not a requirement. Uh, just uh, if you can, like, comment, and subscribe. It does help the channel out a lot. I think we're at 765, uh, which is amazing. But anyways, uh, I am sweaty and tired, and i got to clean up and push this thing somewhere out of the way. But uh, anyways, thank you for watching, and uh, thank you again, Keith, for sending me the file. And thank you for Jason, or thank you, Jason, from Jason Journey Builds for making that uh, awesome diagram. His really easy to follow, and hopefully I got my measurements right, and we can uh, get the body off and put it on this and start the fun stuff of tearing everything off the frame cleaning it, painting it, and starting rebuilding everything. And we might work on the body a little bit. Uh, Joe from Eastside Classics, I believe, mentioned we should put the grill together and the fenders and then fit them on at the same time. And I may have to put a spacer in the passenger side pillar uh, body mount to kind of open that up at the top a little bit and make the fender fall down some. Which isn't a bad idea, and I think I might try it. But anyways, I want to thank you again uh, for sticking through this. Uh, really excited to get this done, and hopefully next week we'll be welding in some braces and putting this Bronco on or the tub on it at least. But anyways, uh, thank you for watching, and I'll see you next week.